I'm Chris, and today we're going to install a new kitchen faucet. Let's do this real quick. Don't forget to pick up the supply lines you're going to need when installing your new faucet. This is pretty much the basic tools you're going to need when installing your faucet. Some sort of crescent wrench or two, pipe dope, thread, joint compound, whatever you're going to use. Some sort of supply lines specific for your installation. Of course, your whole faucet assembly and such like that. For an easy installation, you really shouldn't need much more than this. If the installation becomes a little bit more difficult, there might be some additional tools that you're going to have to use depending upon what type of problems you run into. Obviously, we want to start by removing the old faucet first. And before you go ahead and do that, make sure you shut the main water off. The hot, the cold, and any water shut off to a dishwasher or a spray head, anything else that might interfere. Once you have all the water shut off, you can go ahead and start to take the supply lines off. In my case, the old portable dishwasher connection was already shut off and disconnected because I put it in under the sink dishwasher in years ago. That was easy enough to take off. Now once again, don't forget to shut the water off. Now to my surprise, the water was still on. This only happened because I was filming and I took a couple takes filming me shutting the water off and turning it back on and such. And somehow in that confusion, I forgot to actually shut the water off. It's no big deal, but when you actually go to shut the water off and go to disconnect the supply lines, there's gonna be a little bit of water left in the supply line. So you wanna make sure you put some sort of towel or even a bucket to catch that little bit of water so you don't make a huge mess. You can also go ahead and disconnect the supply line from the shutoff as well. Now you can go ahead and actually remove any of the nuts or mounting hardware that actually keeps the faucet attached to the sink. Might be a good idea in my case if I had used a deep socket to get it off. And once all the nuts are removed underneath, just simply lift everything out. I swear, it's never as easy in real life as it is in these YouTube videos. It's always some sort of headache you gotta deal with. A real quick tip for you, if you're using a pry bar to pry the faucet off, make sure you use your son's flip flop so you don't mar the surface of your sink so you don't have an extra headache to deal with later on. Okay, so the problem I ran into here was the carriage bolt that attaches the faucet to the sink somehow loosened up on the top end of it and it was just spinning. There was really no way for me to hold it to get the nut off plus the nut was just seized on there so I had to take drastic measures to go ahead and get it off. Now I could have in the center of the faucet taking three screws out to uh, take most of this stuff off but those three screws weren't coming out either so it was a little bit of a headache but work safe don't damage the sink if you have to take drastic measures like this to remove the old faucet now that you have successfully and easily removed the old faucet go ahead and take a minute just to kind of clean everything up before installing your new faucet and once you have this under the sink you want to go ahead and get your mounting nut and place it on there first. Secure that, then you're gonna grab your pipe dope and in a clockwise fashion, you're just gonna go ahead and wrap that right around. And then you can go ahead and start screwing on your supply line. You wanna be careful with this stuff, you don't wanna over tighten too much. Just give it a good tight fit. Go ahead and install that plastic spacer between your new faucet and your kitchen sink. I really only think it's there just so you don't mar up the surface. It doesn't seem like it's a gasket or anything like that. Now, I have a spray head attachment to my faucet, so go ahead and make sure you hook that up correctly. The plastic nuts underneath, you wanna kinda of just hand tighten for the moment. Do that on both sides, obviously. And then on the top of your sink, kind of move your faucet around a little bit just so you get it in the correct position. And then once you have it in the position that you like, go ahead and tighten those plastic nuts down. Firm, you want them firm. You don't want the faucet to move or anything, but you also don't want to strip the threads on those nuts and you don't want to break them. Go ahead and put the spray head hose inside there and we're going to connect that up. Go ahead and place your pipe thread on your threads and then obviously connect your supply lines. It's not that difficult. When you're connecting your supply lines, don't over tighten them. You want them, you want them firm. You don't want to over tighten them and crack them, obviously. Once you've connected your supply lines on the top, do the same thing on the bottom. Connect the supply lines to your shutoffs. Same way, put your pipe tape on there and connect them up. Once you have all your supply lines connected and you've retracted and you made sure that they were connected well, it's time to go ahead and test this out. So before we actually test it, 
we're gonna go ahead and remove the aerator from the faucet. We're only doing this just in case there was any junk in the lines or in the faucet itself. And once you have that off, go ahead and turn your shutoffs on and run your sink. Make sure it runs for a little bit, make sure everything works, make sure the hot and cold work, make sure the spray head works, make sure everything swivels around and there's no leaks around the base of the actual faucet or anything like that. Double check underneath, make sure there's nothing leaking underneath and pretty much job well done. Don't forget to go ahead and put your aerator back on. You're pretty much set and ready to go. I thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you found this video helpful in installing your new kitchen faucet, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much.